morning to everyone present here a dream written down with a date becomes a goal a goal broken down into steps becomes a plan a plan backed by action makes your dreams come true today is the fifth day of fdp on multidimensional approaches to research in social science organized by pg department of commerce case or women's college and today's theme is steps in data analysis process to selecting data collection methods and sources by dr deeresh kulsreshta sir it's our culture to remember the god almighty before everything we do our start so let us begin the program by seeking the blessings and presence of the god almighty i would warmly welcome ms ms j sushmita from bcom department for the prayer song om jay jay shri sai shirdi vasame sai jagakur sai baba jay jay sai baba सच्चिदानंद सत्य रूप ने साई बाबा तो ये परम पुरुल पारक माये अल पान शीर दिक स्वामी अल पान शीर दिक अल कदम तर बाबा हर कर कर काम बाबा अनयानी तेडवा मात्र रूप ने समय पापा थैंक यू थैंक यू सुष्मिता फॉर क्रिएटिंग अ हेवनली एटमॉस्फेयर आई वुड ग्लैडली इनवाइट मिस्टर एस तमिल सेल्वन सर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ बीकॉम डिपार्टमेंट टू वेलकम द गैदरिंग I want good morning to the distinguished speaker, respected principal, and all the respected staff members. I feel immense pleasure to welcome you all to this virtual faculty development program on steps in data analysis process through selecting data collection methods and sources. It is a true pleasure for me to welcome our speaker, Dr. Dresh Kulrista, Associate Professor in Economic. Faculty of Business Management, Coordinator of Research Sales in Marwadi University, Gujarat, who have accepted to spend his valuable time for us. I extend my warm welcome to our founder and chairman of KSR Educational Institution, Line Doctor K S Rangaswamy N J F, in their absence. Then my hearty welcome to our vice chairman, Mr. R S Nivasan Sir, and our executive director. Mrs. S. Kavita Srinivasan, ma'am, in their absence. Then I would like to welcome our respected principal, Dr. M. Kothigayan, who is much concerned and cared about the development of faculties as well as students. Welcome, sir. I deem it a great privilege to welcome our director, Dr. D. Kumarajan, sir, to this program. I heartily welcome all the respected HODs and all our charming staffs. for this nasty program on multidimensional approaches to research in social science some of us are feeling much blocked physically and mentally in the pandemic time don't let those blocks to control your growth set yourself free and face that tough time turn those blocks into building blocks of your future with this coveraging way i would like to start this program once again i welcome you all thank you Thank you, sir. I would invite Mrs. B. Ganga Devi, ma'am, Assistant Professor, Professor of Bcom CA Department, to introduce our chief guest. Thank you, Mangal. Good morning, to Ananda, to present her. A warm welcome on fifth day, virtual faculty development program on data analysis process to selecting data, collection methods, and sources by Dr. Tiresh Bilsita. It is a great honor for me to sit and welcome the research person, Dr. Tiresh Bulsreesta. Dr. Tiresh Bulsreesta is working as an associate professor of economics, faculty of business management, coordinator of research cell, Marwari University, Rajput, Gujarat. 
she did ma and phd in economics from shivaji university gwalior madhya pradesh okay. and she has obtained license stage and associate ship from insurance institute of india mumbai she has 20 years of teaching experience in both undergraduate and post graduate level she has recently published in national international print media with heading former speak pre budget expectation and data from rural borat and two articles in my in makers dr tire shah has acted as a panelist in tv news channels in gujarat under the program of mahamandan and sriro sambhat she is highly specialist in the areas in agriculture diversification and agriculture developmental studies crop insurance in india issues and challenges development economics poverty and social monitoring studies to analyze economic and social inequalities public distribution system studies on self help group and micro economic theory macro economic theory international economics public finance she has supervised five mphil and two phd scholars and three phd scholars or are doing under his supervision he has carried out one minor and one major projects he has acted as a resource person for investor awareness program icsi ministry of corporate affairs government government of india he is subject expert for cstt commission for scientific technical technology ministry of education ujjayi yeah subject expert for economic theory commission for the scientific technical terminology ministry of hrd new delhi subject expert in ruza ministry of hrd all india level curriculum reform meeting at department of economics vinoba bave university jagarkhand subject expert in national workshop at faculty of management studies mohanlal sugadiya university a state university udaipur rajasthan he has been appointed as co chairman for technical session in national seminar at madhya pradesh institute of social science and research autonomous institute of icss or ministry of hrd government of india he has been appointed as an examiner eminent speaker other academic capacities more than 25 various central universities state universities and in private universities in india he has published six books in various subjects 17 research paper in international journal and 20 research paper in peer reviewed journal ugc listed journal books with issn and isbn number he has presented 55 papers in ugc mhrd other bodies sponsored national seminar conferences and 10 papers in international conferences seminar he has acted as a got professional membership and life membership of indian economic association ez member of indian economic association from gujarat life membership of indian accounting association and in various institutes and associations he has been organizing secretary for two conferences seminars fully funded by mhrd and has attended six workshop training programs dr tire sir is one of the greatest and well known economists in india if your action inspire others to dream more learn more do more and become more you are a leader once again i welcome sir dr tire gulsreta sir thank you sir thank you ma'am now the session is handed over to our chief guest sir now the platform is yours thank you so much uh, madam no need to read uh, it, it, it's long profile because uh, uh, i am nothing i am simple academician as a you know teacher i am with you today first of all uh, very good morning all and uh, it is my uh, immense pleasure to be in a position as a resource person in seven day virtual factory development program that is based on multi dimensional approaches to research in social sciences organized by 
पीजी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स एसआर कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस परगुमेन फॉर चेंज बड़े नमक कल बिफोर कमिंग टू माय प्रेजेंटेशन आई मस्ट से फॉर्मल थैंक्स टू द ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमेटी ऑफ द इवेंट एंड आई वुड आल्सो एक्सप्रेस माय थैंक्स फॉर इन माय सेशन from yesterday to today's due to engaged in my another official assignment i apologize for that inconvenience to the organizing team first of all my heartfelt thanks to the honor members of management committee of ksr college of arts and science of women uh, trungade for extending exceptional support to conduct a very relevant fdp uh, that is the very relevant topic for academia then i am equally thankful to my friend like a brother professor p e. kumarishan director and professor department of commerce esr college of arts and science for women thanks a bunch my dear brother for inviting me for this academic discourse i must congratulate to all the members of organizing committee like head of the department madam and especially the today you know the participants and my uh, uh, i i just want to uh, before the beginning before the start by session i just want to share what is the crux of the particular topic i just need to give the crux of my presentation part here uh only one minute is it visible my uh, uh, presentation part ha ah, yes, yes 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 yeah, yeah. uh, see uh, uh, as we all know that multi dimensional uh, you know we uh, when we say the multi dimensional approach to the research in social science nowadays the new economic and uh, uh, commerce uh, you know the topics are coming and introducing the cognitive economics the behavioral economics the environmental issues so the important issues in numerous ways like multi dimensional approach to the study of human information interaction made socio economic issues including poverty including food insecurity including consumer behavior in, including customer satisfaction uh, i i can take one example and uh, agricultural sector service sectors and uh, industrial sectors i can take one example for the benefit of my students and my participants i can say here see as a researcher what is happening the you know after this pandemic situation or we can say we are running the second spike of this covid 19 what is happening the perception of the customers is changing customers is thinking to purchase to buy the particular goods only for survival or we can say sustainability of the life why because they are purchasing more they are focusing more for what they are focusing more the purchasing these goods like you know need based goods and services mbgs because i am also conducting one survey and it is almost completed it is going to publish in international journal so in this way i just want to crack first of all the data collection strategies in the social science especially it is it is most important thing because many researchers are not knowing especially they are just starting their researches so the strategies of the data collection is the important part here and the rules for collecting data original data we can say a structural approach semi structured approach quantitative and qualitative data approach and obtrusive and unobtrusive methods and one thing is here the why and where we use the data why we are collecting this data and where we we are, we are going to use it and how to describe data collection approach can go hand in hand data collection tools i will go uh, i am going to discuss here today uh, the different uh, you know tools like participatory uh, uh, methods and records and secondary data and observation 
सर्वे एंड इंटरव्यू एंड फोकस ग्रुप एंड डायरीज एंड सेल्फ यू नो रिकॉर्डेड चैकलिस्ट एंड एक्सपर्ट जजमेंट डेल्फी टेक्निक सो डी आर गोइंग यू नो इन दिस डे एंड आई एम रियली ऑनर्ड टू हैव वेरी गुड ऑडियंस एज पार्टिसिपेंट्स और रिसर्चर uh who are in domain area why because because it is in commerce management and economics and we can say it is the you know the business administration these are the family as uh, like as the economic family economics is the mother of the uh, all these branches like commerce and uh, uh, management so i am very confident and sure to the, uh, so, uh, say that here at the end of my session all the participants will be able to be a witness of exchange of learning Experience of learning in, in in the sense of the collection process, the steps, the strategies, and you will learn how steps can take in data analysis, uh, you know, processor and uh, innovative uh, social science researches in the near uh, future and coming researches. So, so I just want to start. This is my crux actually of the presentation. See, when we talk about, uh, uh, if you permit me, I I request uh, organizing committee member. due to the you know internet issue i can stop my video and i will open at the end of my session yes. okay okay yeah you can yeah, I, see uh why i am stopping why because because uh, here you know the internet issue in gujarat you know that here is i am living <laughs> uh, you know in the in the coastal areas so okay. yesterday one uh, one storms also we face uh, yesterday evening so it's okay so data collection strategy when we are talking about here what is the meaning of it no one best way i tell you in social sciences as well as science subjects you know anyone you know no one can say this is the best option this is the best way to the decision depends it's it, it the decision depends on the researcher only i tell you so first of all in the very beginning with the First slide. I just want to say here, there is no, you know, best way, but according to the objectives, according to the, you know, uh, we can say the uh, research design, what you want first, that is the important thing. So, what you need to know, numbers or stories, if the researchers is collecting for, you know, some stories purposes like qualitative data. and the observation i mean to say but if he is or she is going to collect some material as numbers it means it 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 depends on the mindset of the researcher or we can say the you know this is depends on these these different different you know points the where the data reside it is concerned with the environment of files people resources and time available that is most important why because you are uh, collecting uh, um, uh, you know that in the primary data collection we know the uh, you know more time and uh, the, the resources uh, must be authenticate we know that the complexity of the data to be collected and for uh, the most important thing is here the frequency of the data collection in intended forms of data analysis so uh, so these are the data collection strategies uh, and the rules for data, data collection if i uh, i i discuss with you you know the use multiple data collection methods which use available data but need to know how the measures were defined how the data were collected and cleaned the extent of missing data how accuracy of the data was ensured i can take one example to you Right, you know the customer perception. Pro sir, pro sir. Sorry for interruption, pro sir. Yes. The slide is not moving. Hello. Yes. Yes. Pro sir, the slide is not moving. The first slide only is uh, visible. Okay. Uh, please. Uh, now it is. only the first slide is shown so i must uh, again restart i think oh okay uh, only one only one 
I I'm I'm just checking from my end. Okay, okay. Let me check it later. What is the uncle is saying? He is saying. Ah, uh, let me check it. You know. Is uh, stop this one here. Right window. Excuse. And then again. Share it. Okay. This is this is. Ah, uh, I think uh, I think Professor, it is uh, fine now. Ah, uh, it is not visible. But here it is showing. Oh. Now it is. No, no, not yet, Professor. Ah. Uh, Uh, I also shared with you. So if you can, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, can, can I do it? Okay. Yeah, please, please, please. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Thank, thank. This is the internet. Don't okay. Worry, I I will finish my session and I will take uh, more time. I am requiring some time more. Because yeah. uh, I need to discuss with the intellectual minds actually. Sure, sure. And dear participants, uh, is the slide visible now? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, brother, you can continue. Ah, okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, so so we are here. The rules for collecting data, I think. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you know, uh, I was discussing. Uh, first of all, sorry and apologize for the technical issues and technical technical glitch here. But I just again starting uh, my talk here. You know the rules for data collecting or collecting data. Use multiple data collection methods. Use available data, but need to know how the measures were defined, how the data were collected and cleaned, the extent of missing data. that is most important what is happening i tell you as a researcher after uh, 17 years uh, you know uh, is supposed to be as the experience and uh, you know when we are going to collect data that is the most important thing how the data were collected it is, it is okay but the cleaning is the the cleaning of the data is the important thing the important task and the second most important things the extent of missing data why i am saying extent of missing data suppose you are working on time series analysis like 10 years 20 years 30 years like 1947 you know at the time of independence and this time what kind of gdp trend we are finding right so if some data is missing for uh, you know the 50 to 60 60 to 70 like that 70 to 80 to 10 10 years data in this way if you are missing some data definitely your result will be affected so the most important thing as a researcher the researcher must be aware to extent of missing data and how accuracy of the data was ensured it is also sure. the part of collection of data and the cleaning of data yes sir Is it is it fine, Kumarishan sir? Kumarishan sir, is, is it fine? Ah uh, uh, yes yes, it is fine. You you can carry on. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, go to the next uh, next. Dear Nand Nanda Kumar next. sir, Nanda Kumar sir, please mute your mic. Nanda Kumar Ravi Chandran, please mute your mic, sir. Okay, bro. Sir. Thank you. Continue. Yeah, yeah, please, please. Ah, uh, next, please. Rules for the collecting and next slides. You know, uh, I just want to share here. You know, if you must collect original data, why I am saying original data? You know the uh, essence, or we can say the 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 base of the primary researches. We need to work on original. Whether we are working with the help of uh, on the secondary data. so we must share the researcher must share this data is original and authentic original means authentic some reports are authentic 
there is uh, the uh, you know government of india or state governments reports or we can say uh, uh, the the sources of the data is very authentic and original here so be sensitive to widen on others yeah, it, it is not possible you go there suppose what is happening you know many times okay now i have no time for the for the collection of the data okay i am seeing my friends and my uh, very good friends go go there so you you collect the data it is not the way actually so the the original data the, the collection of the original data what is we very sensitive right and do not burden on others because research needs in the social sciences why because we are studying the mindset the perception or we can say the human minds or the behavior of the customers we can say the in the as a cognitive uh, manner so we need to you know uh, we need to very sensitive pre test pre test and pre test pre test means dear participants please mute your mic yes ms kavita ms kavita c please mute your mic thank you yes yeah. so so i was as was discussing i appeal all the participants on behalf of uh, my side you know as a, as a teacher only i am not the uh, you know i i am not saying i am the chief guest and uh, everything <laughs> i request please listen carefully because we are discussing uh, here the you know very basic but it is the very essential topic today right so i request yes. on yeah yes so please listen carefully and i appeal i i i will take all the questions i will not go with to uh, you know 11 to 12 i am not burning the time because i am i love teaching you know that so please 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 stay with us tune with us and uh, uh, you know uh, please uh, do not uh, create the disturbances again and again okay so this is my request please i hope so you understand yeah so uh, the next thing is that the establish procedures and follow them the protocol what protocol protocol means the sensitive the the collection of the data the the steps of the data the maintain accurate records of definitions and coding coding of the data is again important part the after the end verify accuracy of coding and data input and the structured approach please come to the next i i appeal on the uh, technical person i don't know who is uh, supporting me i think my brother is supporting me there yeah. yes yes, yes. Okay. so see the structured or what is the difference between the structured and semi structured we are saying it is the structured approach we are saying it is the semi structured approach what is the structured approach here all data collector collected in the same way especially important for multi side and cluster evaluation so you can compare important when you need to make comparison with alternative intervention i tell you if suppose i i can take here you know one example for your purpose for your understanding purpose what is your meaning you know the comparisons like the gender discrimination suppose you are uh, finding uh, you know uh, the researches the gender dis discrimination of migrant labor in gujarat state or in tamil nadu like that so you are you are you know you are you are going to uh, you know collect some data for comparative purpose the so structured manners is the uh, most important approach for collecting data use structured approach when we need actually i tell you need to address extent questions have a large sample of our population why i am giving that uh, you know uh, example like gujarat state like tamil nadu because you are comparing the huge sample size you are comparing the sample population size is very you know high very vital very broad we can say so in that sense we need structured approach no what need to be measured need to show results numerically it is most important when we talk about the see how much you know uh, women labor are migrating from gujarat during pandemic conditions how how can we how can we uh, you know uh, how can we know we know on behalf of the uh, you know collections 
of the data from the different different industry and first of all i tell you the research must be decided in which sectors it is in real sectors real estate it is in industries it is in automobile industries it is in, it is in different different we can say so need to show the results numerically right and uh, know what needs to be measured actually i i was discussing here and then need to make comparison across different sites or interventions like see what happening what happens in you know we, we have seen uh, near about you know 14 lakhs people migrated at that time in first wave of the covid 19 it was very unfortunate so for that type of research is need to the you know structured approach here next one the semi structured i appeal please next the semi structured okay uh, see systematic and follow general procedures but data are not collected in exactly the same way every time what is the difference difference is the data collected exactly in the same way every time okay in structured manner or structured approach but what is what is in semi structured the systematic and follow general procedure but data are not collected please 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 uh, you know keep in the mind data are not collected in exactly the same way every time right more open and fluid and does not follow a rigid script that is most important because your you know your your respondent is you know may ask for more detail but not rigid way like uh, suppose i tell you and the gender issue is uh, also there see the reproducing of the birth uh, one project uh, professor omarishan and uh, my dear friends i tell you uh, that is a very important study uh, you know now we are collecting some data Uh, in the research, it is a product of Ministry of uh, Labour and Child Development, Government of India. So we need to collect because we cannot, you know, as man, as a as a male, some questions are there, right? So as a male, we cannot ask the questions to the uh, female, uh, you know, respondent. I can, you, uh, you know, you can understand what I am saying here. So here does not follow a rigid script, right? and we must follow the semi structured approach people can tell what they want in their own way i tell you uh, it is by it is typing error i think so i tell you in the last point people can tell you know you can not ask suppose you are going to the villages in the very tribal areas or we, we can say the very you know remote areas you, you cannot assume you cannot you must not you know assume the people uh people are giving the answers in your way they can, they 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 definitely give your answers but they will give in your way it is not possible they will give the answer in their own way so it is uh, you know always uh, you know keep in the mind as a researcher good researcher and uh, come to the next when we use semi structured approach i tell you so the conducting exploratory work you know the exploratory work means the seeking understanding themes and the different issues because uh, you know need narratives or stories you know want in depth rich back stage information back stage how much people migrated are you getting my points it is the back stage information right we have to find it how much people how we can collect be conducting exploratory work for that seeking understandings you know need narratives you know want in depth knowledge depth means the knowledge the the you know uh, 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 back stage information we need so it is not easy i tell you it is it is very you know time taking process and hard working steps so seek to understand results of data that are unexpected because we are not aware we are going to correct how much it is there and how much people are you know migrating from the, from the different different uh, uh, you know various sectors uh, the services the industries or we can say the agricultural sectors agricultural sectors i tell you my dear all especially to the participants 
to the researcher to the academia you know the plantation labors are also there these labors are also the brick furnace that is in all over the countries there is no organized uh, manner for the brick uh, uh, you know industry we know that so we have to uh, we have to collect the back stage information so for that purpose we use the semi structured approach in the data collection time and uh, go to the next please and uh, a very important things you know you listen uh, to terms of quantitative data approach and uh, the qualitative data approach so what is the meaning of it the quantitative data approach i tell you data in numerical form okay data that can be precisely measured when we say precisely means what is the age what is the cost what is the length what is the height what is the area area means like in gujarat like in you know in tamil nadu you are you are belonging many people are belonging here as a, as a participants from tamil states so the area the volume the weight the speed the time the temperature all these are showing precisely mr point right the is the cost the length so i mean to say it is all related to the quantitative data approach i hope so harder to develop i tell you harder to develop and easier to analyze this is the most important characteristics i tell you my dear all what is the harder to develop the quantitative data but at the same time it is easier to analyze yes next one go to the qualitative data you know that because we are uh, studying here you know uh, uh, the steps in uh, you know social uh, you know sciences steps in data analysis process especially you know the multi dimensional approach to the research in social sciences so i am telling you the qualitative data approach you know it is uh, many people are thinking it is very easy but at the same time you know it is uh, because uh, the researcher is going to the uh, you know read the mindset of the you know people you know so it is very tough it is the psychological you know uh, uh, process i mean to say data that deal with the description see the quality of data uh, is very descriptive you know data that can be observed or self reported but not always precisely measured it is not please keep in the mind the second point self reported observed but not always precisely measured less structured easier to develop and what about the you know uh, uh, first one the qualitative if come to the previous slides harder to develop what is here easier to you know easier to develop but less structured and can provide rich data detailed and widely applicable widely applicable is challenging to analyze see what is what is the um, you know important thing important uh, we can say the difference between the quantitative and qualitative quantitative data is harder to develop and easier to analyze but at the same time in the case of qualitative data approach what is it it is very challenging to analyze and easier to develop why because it is a qualitative manner is labor intensive to collect usually is and it longer reports actually we need that longer reports you know the ministry of labor and child development report ministry of agricultural reports or we can say we are collecting some data qualitative data like the marketing strategies the marketing strategies after second spike of covid 19 we have to need the qualitative data here so i tell you some example here and uh, with the example i hope so uh, you, you can understand and next please uh, i appeal you know which data you know which data is uh, uh, quantitative and which is qualitative with this uh, uh, slide i just uh, you know uh, want to uh, you know discuss if you want to conduct statistical analysis like the econometric analysis 
the economic the metric analysis the production process in tamil nadu states we need to the quantitative data no what you want to measure want to cover a large group because you are going to collect agricultural production different different crops and in a year or we can say the last 10 years what is the trend line it is quantitative want to conduct the statistical analysis want to be precise no want what you want to measure want to cover a large group at the same time what about qualitative want narrative or in depth information see qualitative why it is why it is uh, you know uh, very tough because researcher must be must be knowing the pulse of the objectives the research design i have to say so want narrative or in depth information of the objects what he or she want to exactly finding are not sure what you are able to measure it is it, it is very clear and do not need to quality quanti, uh, quantify the results because it is qualitative so this is the major or minor differences uh, you know uh, i have discussed are uh, related to the quantitative and qualitative and uh, come to the next and optimistic and unoptimistic methods i tell you what is the optimistic methods and unoptimistic methods data collection methods that directly obtain information from those being evaluated like primary data collection it is optimistic methods like interviews like surveys like you know uh, focus groups and what about on uh, an optimistic data data collection methods that do not collect information directly from evaluates it is collected from different sources like document analysis like google earth like observation it is at the distance press of the stocks these are the you know different ways uh, 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 re related to the methods of this event and uh, of this methods how to decide on data collection approach uh, go to the next choice depends on the situation different situations we have each technique is more appropriate in some situations than other all techniques are subject to bias it is very very clear i tell you so you know if you go through the very good research and uh, findings after that in phd and uh, different researches also very good researches also they are writing the limitations of the study at that uh, at the time of conclusion this is the limitation we are uh, the, the the area limitation the you know sample size limitation why because because this line is there i i i you know it is italic caution all techniques are subject to bias so the uh, go to the next please the triangulation to increase accuracy of data when we when we talk about the triangulation to increase accuracy of data triangulation of methods means collection of same information using different methods triangulation of sources collection of same information from a variety of sources different different varieties variety of sources the different methods that is methods so see different varieties also and evaluate as collection of same information from more than one evaluator i tell you so suppose uh, if you we are conducting one report uh, you know conducting one research in uh, suppose in gujarat i take one example like you know the customer uh buying behavior in oligopolistic market like automobile industry in gujarat is in special reference to gujarat or you can take the tamil nadu what happens the evaluator is different the sources is different and the triangulation uh, tri triangulation of sources are different really it is different and evaluators are also different so the next one uh, please the data collection tools and sources for data analysis this is the important you know uh, you know tools these are the important tools i just want to share with you so number 1 the participatory 
methods what is the participatory methods i appeal uh, the technical person please uh, uh, you know come to the method 1 and the participatory methods what is the meaning of participatory here involve group or communities heavily in data collection i tell you participatory like community meetings mapping transact box community meetings means if we take the community meeting here i tell you am i audible to you yes sir Yes, sir. 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 Y
the tra theory the theory and actions and the theory of planned behavior tpb theory what is it when we talk about the tpb theory what is it it is you know when we this theory as a as a as a students of social science this theory is developed by azen in 1985 and 87 for what purpose purpose for understanding the perceptions of the customers the dispositional and predictions of human behavior but i we are saying the dispositions it tend to be poor predictors of behavior in specific situations i tell you so the transact work like general attitude have been assessed with respect to organizations and institutions like the public housing the students and governments like the employer and the minority groups like blacks jews and uh, you know minority you know the religion wise we can say the particular individuals so azen has given azen and fisbian in 1977 they have given very wonderful very 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 important theory uh, here for consumer behavior or the behavior of the mindset of the you know uh, uh, people so need go good observation the skill skills here walk a transact line through a map of a community line should go through all zones of the community i tell you the predictive behavior the he has discussed the attitude towards the behavior see first uh, the attitude the second is you know the subjective norms the perceived behavioral control the intention and then finally the behavior first start the attitude attitude so like suppose you are x person is going to purchase one cold drinks from the market this is the attitude which cold drink attitude towards behavior purchasing that the the you know taste and then this attitude convert into the intention i tell you and subjective norms and perceived behavior control after that this intention and then what is happening the behavior finally the customer behave as a you know customer there and going to purchase the particular goods from the market whatever he like in the first starting the thinking as a researcher you know so i just tell you as a but things before the buying the particular goods but he thinks suppose at, at this time the crucial time the sanitary time the sanitary crisis all over the world is facing the sanitary crisis at a, at this time i tell you what is you know one person is going to purchase you know vitamin c tablet but he thinks he thinks the attitude and then intention then behavior right so attitude is the most important things in the theory of planned behavior the theory of reasoned actions so these are the all examples i have given i connected this transact box to the theory of uh, tpb theory or we can say the tra right so walk a transact line through a map of a community line should go through all zones of the community and second uh, go to the next please the two number 2 uh, are uh, records and the secondary data see uh, i have some uh, some example for your benefit purpose here example for the sources you know files records computer databases industry or, or government reports other reports or prior evaluators you know census data and household survey data electronic uh, you know mailing list and discussion groups documents budgets or the organizational chart policies uh, and and the processes monitoring reports newspapers television these are the different sources of secondary data you know that as a record and using existing data sets the you know very important uh, you know that the researcher uh, must be you know aware for what the validity the reliability the accuracy the response rate the data dictionaries and missing data rates we have to understand when we are collecting the 
second approach second tool here the secondary data or the you know different record sources so we have to must be very very you know clear that it is a validity of the data the what is happening why we are uh, in an you know saying to the phd scholars uh, and uh, our you know research scholars please do not uh, uh, you know go with the uh, very spurious or bogus studies uh, like uh, many studies are over here many you know journals are charging some money and they are publishing they are uh, sorry but it is true we are talking about the plagiarism we are talking about the ethics of the research here so we must be aware the validity reliability because we are depends on the secondary approach if you, if your uh, data the secondary sources data is not validate it is not reliable definitely your result will not be validate and reliable i mean to say so i just want to share why we are saying it is uh, uh, it is most important things the validity reliability accuracy and uh, uh, you know response what are the advantage of the uh, secondary data what are the advantages what are the challenges you know uh, uh, so so just i tell you uh, 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 if we talk about the advantages here right so uh, uh, definitely we, uh, we are collecting this data uh, from the different sources the available data it is also available in the reports in the you know different uh, uh, secondary sources so it is less expensive and faster than collecting the original data again original data means the primary data right so uh, the, uh, the time consuming uh, very less here in the secondary data and uh, often less expensive less expensive means it is it is uh, it is uh, uh, quite cheap it is less expensive because we have to collect the reports only and uh, and uh, 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 and check the validity the accuracy and all these you know uh, cautions and then it is the most impo important advantage of the you know secondary data here but what kind of challenges <laughs> i just tell you because as a as a researcher as a as a man of uh, uh, you know uh, faculty as a as a man of economics because in economic analysis what is happening you know uh, the challenges different kind of challenges are coming in the social sciences you know that they are may be coding error site tell you because first you decide what is the uh, you know requirement of your study first why because because your objectives are depend because this data is there the reports is okay suppose you are you are you know uh, you, you, you are collecting some financial uh, you know statements suppose i am giving the example here you know the finance commission reports you are collecting for a research purpose but what you need exactly who will say it depends on the coding coding of the data so the the 100% you know i cannot say but 90% is there the coding errors problems in the secondary data i tell you the data may not be exactly what is needed actually i i want to say there and you must have difficulty getting access i tell you you have to verify validity and reliability of the data it is it is most and most important thing uh, and it is the challenge of the second data if i talk about the uh, go to the next please uh, the observation again it is very very lengthy part or we can say the very important also uh, uh, to the collector size to the collection of the data size in tell so what is happening i tell you traffic patterns land use patterns layout of city and rural areas quality of housing so these are the observation uh, exam examples conditions of roads conditions of buildings what who goes to a health clinic suppose i tell you if i i take the example again to you because with the with the help of the live example we can understand well what is the see how much populations are interested to the vaccination are you getting my points so how how it is possible what is happening i are, are, are you getting my my conditions and conditions and who goes to a health clinic the last point i need to say and clinic for what 
why they are fearing for that observation is helpful when i tell you need direct information so how it is possible direct information trying to understand on going behavior i i am giving a very good example i think i think you can you can understand the nowadays it is the matter of debate many people are going to discuss and the political reasons and different reasons it's okay but as a researcher as a teacher of social science what we understand the trying to understand ongoing behavior right there is physical evidence products or outputs then can be observed need to provide alternative when other data collection is infeasible or inappropriate i tell you infeasible means many people are saying ke we are uh, uh, suppose suppose i am giving the second example to you unfortunately very very unfortunate it is many people were dying during second spike we know that it is very painful but i am saying if once you know one researcher want to collect some data how much people dying or dead during second spike how it is possible need to provide alternative when other data collection is infeasible or inappropriate because sorry but is it true many reports are saying inappropriate or infeasible data so who will collect it is really it is we can say if we we are collecting you know we, we are we are we are doing our research on behalf of the secondary data but people are dying more so how it is possible to go to the study i am talk, talking about the you know multi dimensional approaches to the research in social sciences my dear infeasibility in appropriateness so the observation again the most important thing next degree of i am talking i i just i i i i, I do not uh, you know is, is skip that you know this one degree of structure of observations the structured and unstructured it is also in observation method what is it determine before the observation precisely what will be observed before the observation i tell you see what is uh, generally what happens many researcher goes without specific you know the designing of the precisely of the particular topics how much people i have given the very specific topic to you and then it is a structured manner structured observation we can say what is an structured ob- observation select the method depending upon the situation with no preconceived ideas i tell you or a plan on what to observe there is is unstructured like that okay semi structured a general idea of what to reserve but no specific plan so there are three different conditions my dear participants here number 1 structured number 2 unstructured observations and semi structured i tell you structured what is you know define the before the observation the precise what will be observed and unstructured there is no precise there is no determination select the method depends upon the situation with no preconceived ideas it is uh, when it is you know when, when it is there like in the pandemic conditions like in the you know uh, abnormal conditions on what to observe actually semi structured like bar conditions because i am uh, uh, my dear brother uh, professor kumar sen sir actually i am supervising in my university some international students they are uh, you know st- you know studying they are pursuing phd in my supervision here and uh, these people are belonging uh, some people are belonging zambia and uh, bali is belonging syria so i discussing you know many times i discuss uh, so uh, they they have done uh, you know uh, one of my student has completed his uh, uh mphil from syria but in the unstructured manner unstructured mean unplanned means so i tell you uh, or we can say that it is the semi 
स्ट्रक्चर मैनर ए जनरल आइडिया ऑफ वर्ड टू ऑब्जर्व बट नो स्पेसिफिक प्लान बाई बिकॉज इन सीरिया वट इज हैपनिंग इन द इकोनॉमिक डायमेंशन और इवन इन द नॉर्मल लाइफ नॉर्मल सोसाइटी दे आर फेसिंग दी एब नॉर्मल कंडीशन इन 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 डेली लाइफ वी नो दैट सो वट कैन बी ऑब्जर्व और वट कैन नॉट बी ऑब्जर्व आई टेल यू आई टेल यू फिजिकल एक्शंस सी बाय द फेस यू नो बाय द फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड वी कैन ऑब्जर्व समथिंग वर्बल बिहेवियर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट इज यू नो फिजिकल सी एज ए रिसर्चर यू मस्ट नो यू मस्ट बी क्लियर दैट फिजिकल एक्शंस वर्बल बिहेवियर एक्सप्रेसिव बिहेवियर स्पेटाइल रिलेशन एंड लोकेशन टेम्पोरल पेटर्न आई टेल यू वर्बल एंड पेक्टोरियल रिकॉर्ड दीज वर्बल एंड पेक्टोर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम सींग सम पिक्चर्स फ्रॉम सींग यू नो द स्टेच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी वट इज सोइंग वट इज सोइंग यू नो और वी कैन से द पिक्चर्स पिक्चर्स फॉर वॉट द डिफरेंट यू नो पिक्टोरियल रिकॉर्ड सो द ग्राफ्स वी कैन से so what can be observed we can observe these physical verbal expressive spatial relations and locations temporal patterns and what can be observed the human behavior or physical action like for example i tell you here the shopper's movement pattern in a store what is happening you know in the organized and unorganized sectors Many unorganized sectors were suffered in the, you know, COVID-19 uh, situation. But but the good malls, the organized, you know, shopkeepers, so we can observe this movement pattern in organized and the unorganized sectors. I tell you, this is the example of the man. The verbal behavior. If I take the example of verbal behavior for the benefit purpose here, you know. statements made by airline travelers who wait in line this is verbal behavior you are going from you know uh, some places and you are taking flights and then as uh, uh, late or you are on time but statements coming from the airline travelers who wait in line like uh, different state you know that so this is verbal behavior we can say so we, we can observe also uh, we can understand but he or she want to uh, express verbal, verbal behavior and next one the acts behavior here what is the meaning the facial actions that boys take form of body language is that so these are the observers uh, observations that can occur and Spatial relations and locations. How close visitors at how close visitors at an art museum stand to paintings? You can understand. Happens art museums. The spatial relations and locations. How close visitors at an art museum? How can we observe their body language? Their you know. Involvement, the stand, uh, you know, standing positions, you know. So these are some example for your understanding purpose. I want to share with you the temporal patterns. What are the temporal patterns? If I take temporal patterns, like you know, this one. How long fast food customers wait? Temporal. Temporal means, you know. The temperament, I mean, say how long fast food customers nowadays uh, your Tamil food is also available in every part of country, and uh, uh, even what happening in Gujarat also, you know, we uh, the Gujarati people are very foodie, and uh, what is happening the uh, you know customer wait for their order to be served because it is a long queue on a specific day, you know, after. one month uh, or after lockdown you know the fast food customer waiting and temporal patterns how much they are thinking what is the you know behavior of the customers that time and even what is the behavior of serving people also are you getting 
I I mean to say the you know uh, daba and the hotel uh, you know people serving people. So so these are uh, these these patterns are you know can be observed. The physical objects. What brand name items are stored in cons- consumers uh, pantries? I tell you, I I I can take in uh, you know I I, I can uh, I want to give uh, uh, one example here. Like you know. uh but is saying uh, i have given very starting up beginning of my session nbgs need based goods and services are you getting my points the are purchasing you know the sanitizers the gloves the you know mask nowadays so the physical objects what brand name what brand name items are stored in consumer pantries what is the requirement of the time so what can be observed it is it, it, it is observed you know verbal and pictorial records i, I also discussed the barcodes on product packages it is a good example i think barcode on the pack, product packages so in the organized you know malls and different shops we can see uh, through the barcode they are just you know uh, 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 billing process is doing so so this is uh categories of observation we are talking about the categories you know human versus mechanical i tell you human versus mechanical okay visible versus hidden these are the categories of observation direct or contrived i tell you observation of human behavior benefits communication with respondent is not necessary i tell you when you are going to collect your data through the observation techniques so observation doesn't say it is very clear the communication no need so what is data without distortions due to self report without social desirability bias are you getting my points i hope so you are getting no need to rely on respondent memory are you getting my points no need to rely only observe and non verbal behavior data may be obtained so these are the human behavior benefits human be- human behavior be- benefits you know uh, that is uh, i i given you know uh, i also studied one uh, study in uh, economics times earlier you know last uh, 15 days ago the phobia of vaccination it is a study uh, 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 it is published in manchester university uh, in us in, in european country uh, so w- what they are showing they are showing the human behavior right without social desirability no need to rely only the observation why i they are phobia so these are the examples for your benefit purpose here observations of human behavior certain data may be obtained more quickly okay environmental conditions may be recorded i tell you and may be combined with survey to provide supplemental evidence and what are the limitations these are the you know human uh, behavior uh, we can say the benefits or we can say the characteristics what are the limitations cognitive phenomena cannot be observed see it is very very tough i tell you what is the mindset of the particular customer nobody knows you know you are going to study the customer you know perception or we can say you are going to collect the consumer buying behavior it is it is very very tough task i tell you the cognitive you can understand uh, in 2016 richard thaler is the you know great economist he is the nobel laureate and uh, nobel laureate for behavioral economics here it he has given very good principle there cognitive phenomena so cognitive phenomena cannot be observed it is again the very task it is not easy task i tell you interpretation of data may be problem human behavior this is the level limitations you know suppose you are going i am giving the live example to you my dear participants here suppose you are going to purchase 
I go, uh, please, please listen carefully. I am just joking with you and I just, you know, sake of enjoy. See, suppose one person is going to purchase one cold drink. Like the, uh, the example of this cold drink is, you know, uh, uh, thumbs up. And immediately one ad is coming. You know, I think you are, uh, you are remembering, you can remember that, you know, out of 35 rupees Pepsi, you are just, you know, impressing me. One girl is, you know, uh, going to, you know, impress. One boy is going to impress his uh, girlfriend. What is it? What I am, uh, you know, uh, saying here. I am saying the emotional intelligence here. I am saying the cognitive behavior here. I am saying the, my dear, all behavioral economics. How immediately he or she changed the buying perception from thumbs up to Pepsi. If he or she see the, you know, immediately at the same time, so intention, you know, you listen carefully. First thing, Invasion of crime and observation of physical objects. What are the observations? Physical trace evidence. I, I am getting some noise, so I appeal. I appeal all the parts. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are very good, uh, you know, participants. I know that. Uh, so, so please, thank you. Thanks for support here. So, physical trace evidence, beer and tear of a book indicates what is beer and tear a book. Suppose one professor or one student is taking VR and TR a book, but indicates, it indicates how often it has been read. Are you getting my points? Nowadays, uh, the time has changed, the online teaching is also going on. Uh, nobody, no student is, uh, you know, uh, want to go to the library, but the meaning of book is very, very, very high. We know that. So, the scientifically contrived observation, the creation of an artificial environment to test a hypothesis, I tell you. What is the artificial in, in, environment? And go to the next, the content analysis. Okay. What are the content analysis? Obtain data by observing and analyzing the content of advertisement. Letters, articles, I have given the example to you, deals with the study of the message itself, measures the extent of emphasis or omission. Uh, my dear all, the mechanical observation, traffic counters, web traffic, scanners, peopleometer, you know, physiological measures. If we talk about the monitoring back website traffic, what is the meaning? I tell you, especially you, my uh, my my dear students, my dear participants, hits and page views, Jupiter Media Matrix, Nielsen rate, uh, you know, net ratings. You can these are the monitoring website traffic. I tell you, so you you note it and uh, physiological reactions, eye tracking, peopleometers, psychogalvanometers, boy speech. That is most important. Eye tracking means record how the subject actually reads or views an advertisement. I, I have given the very good example, you know, examples, the Pepsi and the Maja. I, I hope so you are getting, you know, 
रिपोर्ट हाउ द सब्जेक्ट एक्चुअली रीड्स और व्यूज एंड एडवर्टीजमेंट मेजर अनकॉन्सियस आई मूवमेंट एंड वट इज दीपोलोमीटर दिस डिवाइस ऑब्जर्व एंड रिकॉर्ड चेंजेस इन दी डायामीटर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट पीपुल्स आई एम टेलिंग हियर माई डियर ऑल द ऑब्जर्वेशन टेक्निक्स द साइको गैलवेनोमीटर मेजर्स गैलवेनिक स्किन रिस्पॉन्स एंड इन वॉलेंट्री चेंजेस इन द इलेक्ट्रिकल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द स्किन एजम्सन साइक यू नो फिजियोलॉजिकल चेंजेस ए कंपनी इमोशनल रिएक्शन सपोज सपोज इफ यू आर सींग वेरी इंटर यू नो इफ यू आर सींग वन मूवी दैट मूवी इज वेरी यू नो रोमांटिक मूवी वट हैपीन्स वट हैपीन्स यू योर फुल माइंड सेट इज फुल्ली इनवॉल्व इन द रोमांटिक वे okay second i am giving the second example it, it these are the observation techniques i tell you and suppose if you are seeing one very good scene from you know army based like uh, uri i am giving the example here one movie what is happening physiological changes emotional reactions in the first case were different in the second movie were definitely different i am just delivering from my side here that this is the good example for psycho galvanometer by speech analysis measures emotional reactions through physiological changes in a person's voice way to record information from observation observation guide printed form with this space to record recording sheet or checklist field no notes list structured recorded in narrative descriptive style and what are the exact plan for observation have more than one observer if feasible it is not possible one person can observe one theater at a time are you getting my points if you are collecting the impact of that particular scene you know the particular scene on the mindset of the you know your people and the, the peoples it is not possible so have more than one observer if feasible train observer so that they can observe the same things it is very clear the objectives must be clear pilot test the observation data collection instrument for less structured approach have a few key questions in the minds and now the tools number 4 starts here uh, survey and interviews uh, go to the next please um, uh, my technical uh, people please see uh, it is again uh, very important the survey and interviews many people are saying i am collecting you know uh data from survey some interviews like that so what is the meaning exactly what is the exact this tool excellent for asking people about perception opinions and ideas are you getting my points only the three ways excellent for asking people about what are the perception what is your opinion what are your ideas so less accurate for measuring behavior simple should be representative of the whole suppose what is happening you know if you are collecting some data suppose some people doesn't want to you know in rural area specifically they do not want to take the doses of the vaccination right and you are collecting this data and you you are giving your results to the society the people do not want to take the vaccination it is good really you know samples should be representative of the whole society at the same time in the second or third or fourth or near uh, you know other villages the peoples are taking vaccination even they have taken uh, both doses so my question is that my concern is that here samples should be representative of the whole so it must be very clear big problem with the response rate because many people are saying yes i am ready but after that uh, they can uh, uh, you know deny so this is the uh, uh, these are the 
some limitations, some problems, some basics of the survey and interviews. And structures for survey, you know, there are two, again, you know, structured and semi-structured way. What are the structured? I tell you. Yes. You know, uh, go to the next, please. Uh, precisely worded with a range of predetermined response with that the respondent can select. Everyone asked exactly the same questions in exactly the same way, given exactly the same choices, I tell you. Very important here. Everyone asked exactly the same questions. So, you first, you know, suppose one person go to the questions or to, for the survey purposes, okay? So, people, the respondent can ask the same question to you, why you are collecting, why you are collecting, like that. So, same way, given exactly the same choices also, and it is the structured manner of the survey, but it is the semi-structured, ask same general set of questions, but answer to the questions are predominantly open-ended. It is must, not close-ended. It is open-ended. And structured, uh, 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 very tough. We know that harder to develop, easier to complete. And uh, I think, uh, go to the next phase. Structured versus semi-structured survey. When we talk about the structure, harder to develop, okay, easier to complete, easier to analyze. Why? Because it is a structured manner, more efficient when working with the large numbers. Semi-structured, what about the semi-structures? Easier to develop, open-ended questions, more difficult to complete, I tell you. Why? Because what and some for people to complete as a self administrated questionnaire harder to analyze but provide a richer source of data interpretation of open ended responses subject to wise so these are the you know basics difference uh, difference between the structures and semi structure uh, you know go to the next please modes of survey administration we, you can uh, you can uh, you know survey through telephone you know uh, and uh, uh, different ways, I tell you. Telephone survey. What is it? Self-administered questionnaires distributed by mail, email. Nowadays, what is happening? Questionnaire and uh, different, you know, things are in Google format is also there or website. Okay. And administered questionnaires common in the development context. In development context means often issues of language and translation, I tell you. You must be clear, suppose many, first you, uh, you know, as a researcher, you must be very clear what kind of respondent you have and what is the meaning actually, what uh, their knowledge level, knowledge level in the sense of language knowledge, the translation, you know, if I am going to collect some data uh, into the rural areas of Tamil Nadu, what will happen? Definitely I will use i must use you know the regional language if some person my brother uh, professor komarison is coming to the data uh, collection purpose here in social sciences in the uh, rural areas or tribal areas in the gujarat but will definitely we will use the you know so this issues i just want to uh, you know discuss here uh, mail phone internet surveys uh, next please the literacy issues i also discussed it i think uh, literacy is the you know me, me, you know in the uh, uh, is a very uh, uh, very big issue or very very important issue uh, in the in the internet surveys uh, like uh, consider accessibility you are saying but what is happening I I can I just want to quote one example here my best friend my friend is working in Central University you know Nagaland Professor Mithili Sena he was saying. Uh, in the first, uh, you know, uh, wave of uh, COVID-19, one student of eighth standard, he is uh, having one very small mobile. The battery timing is only four hours, but he is facing the internet issues and he is going to his classes, online classes on one, you know, his areas. So half an hour he need to, you know, climbing up and then then he reached the top of the hill. Then 
signals are coming uh, the matter of uh, it is the story of kohima it is the true story he has done some work on it and after 4 hours you know his battery you know uh, definitely uh, the mobile we know that uh, the battery and uh, in this uh, nagaland areas uh, the electricity problem is also there so he is saying so so how much how can we compare you know the tamil people the delhi students or we can say the gujarati students and uttar pradesh and uh, very rich areas students to the nagaland and kohima student that the students is very very you know struggling for online education i am giving the example for your consider accessibility that is read reliability of postal service turn around time i am talking about the turn around time here the consider bias what population segment has i am also giving has telephone access access or internet access so so this is uh, i am just talking about the internet access uh, you know problems and issues what are the advantages go to the next phase uh, uh survey advantage you know that best when you want to know what people think actually believe or perceive only they can tell you that then these are the advantages because this is actual actual and actual data really real sense because they uh, you think they believe the perceive a what what kind of perceived behavior they have uh, they can tell you it is okay then and this is the advantage of the challenge you know particular survey but at the same time some challenges also here people may not accurately recall their behavior okay or maybe reluctant to reveal their behavior if it is illegal or stigmatized very good sub, uh, you know by here what people think they do or say they do is not always the same as what they actually do i am talking i can take i have given uh, two three times i think in this session the vaccination issues people are saying but not going the, the the really that intention not converted into the behavior the actual behavior i meant to say so this is these are the challenges of the you know uh, service go to the next please interviews so when we talk about the interviews the often semi structured used to explore complex issues in depth for giving for mistakes uh, unclear questions can be clarified uh, during the interview and uh, changed for subsequent interview you know what is the you know in, in the interview pattern what is happening almost it is happening because uh, it need the more time more expertise uh, to designing the questionnaire the nature of questions so must be clear uh, the questions is uh, very very specific and uh, uh, you know as per the objectives also otherwise what will happen you are taking interview and uh, you know uh, and collecting data and uh, the, your objectives are different your results are different like that it is it happens especially in the social sciences i just so i just you know uh, mention here please be very clear as a good researcher as a good data collector here can provide evaluators with an intuitive sense of the situations that is most important you know what are the challenges go to the next please can be expensive because it is survey because it is interview methods definitely you will uh, the researcher will have to go to the places that places and collect to the data because it is very authentic very you know uh, original i can say so labor intensive also time consuming also so expensive labor intensive labor intensive more labor required here are you getting my points time consuming it is very expensive nowadays what is happening in social sciences especially the people are not going to collecting data they are depending on the you know simply the google format and uh, email uh, they are sending even uh, you also uh, my teacher friends also receiving many mails from the research it's okay it, in this pandemic situation uh, it is it is fine but if you want to the research project you know if you want to be complete your original researches then you need to these challenges these, these you know uh, you know caring's so i just want to share because here uh, i am talking about the multi dimensional approach to the uh, you know uh, social sciences specifically the the methods and sources of data collection 
uh so here the cultural sensitivity the gender issues i also discussed i think the selective hearing on the part of the interviewer may miss information that does not conform to pre exiting beliefs and cultural sensitivity is more important because we must be bear collecting some data like three uh, you know uh, diverse three talaq system suppose i am taking one example so it is very sensitive issues the gender issues also so must be clear ki uh, the, uh, these are the different kind of challenges at the at the time of question you are designing the researcher must be very very clear all that come to the next please the tool number 5 focus group okay uh, only give uh, uh, only 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 very little bit time i am going to uh, just close because uh, it is uh, uh, you know uh, we are near to close actually so uh, uh, because we cannot you know uh, this is the this is not the ethics as a teacher we cannot if is skip something it is the you know very true because we are very old and a traditional type teacher you know that so focus groups we are talking about a type of qualitative research uh we are small homogeneous groups of people like you are collecting some uh, data like self help like you know uh, uh, what kind of uh, uh, poverty elevation from the different societies like sectors of the societies so type of qualitative research we are small homogeneous group of people are brought together i have given the example brick furnace okay the brick industry i mean are brought together to informally discuss specific topics under the guidance of a moderator the purpose what is the purpose purpose to identify issues and themes not just interesting information and not counts so uh, these are the uh, important things for focus groups next please uh, then we talk about the focus uh, uh, group uh, uh, you know process what is the process i tell you you know the phase there are different four phases i tell what are the phases one is opening second is warm up third is main body closer so focus group uh, you know uh, these uh, different phases are uh, there uh, number 1 only one minute uh, is the language barrier are in you know uh, language barrier are very Uh, very very important in focus group of the evaluator has little control over the situation trust cannot be established because uh, the researcher is coming from the different uh, uh, you know side and uh, uh, focus group is uh, uh, living in the different uh, you know area so so trust uh, must be there but it cannot be established so free expression cannot be ensured i have given the example you know uh, the uh worth issues worth issues uh, uh, it is the again the sensitive so we need the free expression so we need you know uh, for that purpose i think the female uh, you know or uh, female uh, you know data collector uh, for that purpose is very good and appropriate free expression for the purpose of only the free expression because many things the will to you know unable to uh, the, they are unable to give until and uh, definitely friendly nature so free expression purpose simply confidentiality cannot be assured so many things are there so i tell you uh, these are the focus groups you know uh, uh, issues and uh, uh, go to the next page uh, opening uh, opening is ice breaker explain purpose ground rules introduce our warm up relate experiences okay stimulate group to interaction start with least threatening and simplest questions not asking very very big big questions and very weighted questions are you getting my points suppose if you are asking you know very starting you know what is your you know uh, what is what is your diseases let me know what, what kind of so no no you know start from the why what is your name what is your age like that and it starts you know simplest questions many i mean to say the main body move to more threatening or sensitive and complex questions elicit deep responses connect emergent data to complex broad participation must be there you, you must ensure um, in focus group we we need to you know 
broad participation so closer and with closer type questions summarize and uh, you know uh, we can say uh, 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 you know uh, summarize and refine that is most important the present theories invite final comments or insights and after that thanks to the participants that is most important uh, what are the uh, what are the advantages what are the challenges advantages you know that focus groups can be conducted relatively quickly and easily may take less staff time it is in depth in person interviews allow flexibility make changes in the process so these are the advantages of the focus groups but what are the, at the same time some challenges are there what are the challenges the challenges are analysis is time consuming we know that it is again you know direct process so participants not representative of uh, population okay possibly wising the data it is, it is uh, maybe the data can be wised so it must be clear uh, that that uh, you know your response uh, your respondent are uh, very very you know uh, authentic i mean to say group may be influenced by moderator or dominant group members so these are uh, these are all about the focus group and next one please go to the next i think it is the tool number 6 uh, professor arishan sir kumar arishan sir am i audible hey, yes sir you are audible yeah okay so tool number 6 okay so uh, it is it, we are we are near to you know just closer here diaries and self reported checklist use when you want to capture information about events in people's daily lives i tell you participants capture experience in real time not later the question here are you getting my point so diaries and self reported checklist is most most important use to supplement other data collection guidelines for diary or journal what are the guidelines i tell you uh, recruit people face to face encourage participation appeal to altruism assure confidentiality and provide incentives that's why they can give your you know confidential things to you provide a booklet to each participants cover page with clear instructions wise instruction unclear instruction or we can say you know the big instructions is not uh, appropriate uh, in the case of diaries or uh, we can say the self reported checklist so definitions examples like short memory jaggers i tell you explain terms because maybe possible the respondent are not aware much more aware the terminologies of the questionnaire so explain the term comments on last page and go to the you know maintain the calendar calendar for what calendar for your purpose calendar for you know we are coming uh, you know suppose you are collecting some data the first dose impact vaccination after 3 months the second dose impacts on the body then the calendar we needed i am taking some example for your purpose and consider the time period for collecting data if too long may become burdensome or it is a tedious practice and if too short may miss the behavior or event so these are now next please next please uh, come to the uh, you know uh, tool number 7 i think expert judgment okay what are the expert judgment use of experts one on one or as a panel okay can be structured can be structured or unstructured but need to use of experts like government task force okay advisory groups i tell you one thing professor kumarishan sir i think i shared with you government of uttar pradesh has decided to implementation of nep in their colleges and universities the government universities and all the universities in higher education so i am the part of that as a as a as a you know experts committee members why i am taking this expert judgment for what government task force task force for for what task force for you know implementation 
the national education new education policies right so different different subject experts will be there they can decide okay so it is in selecting experts okay why because because you know different subject is having the different nature we know that so these are the reasons selecting experts establish criteria for selecting experts not only on recognition as experts but also based on area of expertise diverse technical expertise why i am thinking about here because last 10 years i am the member of commission for scientific technical terminology we are you know we are translating some parts and we are you know working on the glossaries in hindi in sanskrita in tamil also in regional language all the re regional language because nep is also requiring what is requiring the regional languages you know uh, must be there in their education system why i am say you know uh, saying this example quoting this example for your purpose that diverse the area of expertise the area of you know perspectives the area of uh, you know technical expertise so all these required and uh, uh, experts judgment uh, it is it is uh, you know we know that what is the benefit of expertise it is very fast relatively inexpensive inexpensive uh, why because if government is going to collect you know uh, or prepare some uh, syllabuses without expert supports what is happening definitely but we need uh, the experts judgment in the phd why because because they are experts in their domain area so that's why so in the in the at the same time in the research is it is also applicable it is very fast relatively inexpensive what are the challenges of judgment big for impact evaluation i tell you maybe be uh, maybe based mostly on perceptions value of data depends on how credible the experts are perceived to be and very important last one uh, you know go to the tool number 8 it is last uh, you know tell delphi techniques enables experts to engage remotely in a dialogue and reach consensus you know it is a delphi technique you know it is very important technique often about priorities expert ask the questions often rank choices responses go to a central source are summarized and uh, you know feedback Uh, uh, to the experts without attribution experts can agree or argue with others comments process may be you know uh, we can say uh, iterative so these are the delphi techniques what are the advantages of this uh, techniques uh, go to the next please uh, allow participants to remain you know anonymous is inexpensive it is very inexpensive is a free of social leadership to independent thinking allow sharing of information challenges may not be representative has tendency to these are the challenges eliminate esteem positions requires skill in written communication require time and participant commitment it, it, it is time taking process and participants commitment also uh, very important there so uh, these are uh, you know Uh, the importance and advantages of uh, or challenges of uh, delphi technique here and uh, go to the next please these are some measurement tools we know that uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, for the sake of your uh, information purpose i am just uh, you know uh, sharing with you skills we know that the weight height and uh, different, different thing tape measures health testing tools the blood pressure these are the some measurement tools stop watches chemical test quality of butter like that this is the example you know aptitude and the achievement test citizen report card so all the measurements uh, you know uh, we, we can we can understand and uh, data collection summary uh, this is my last slide and after that thank you so i, I just tell you uh, uh, from the very beginning i uh, i start you know there is no best way actually so i tell again to more than one data collection techniques no best tool but do not let the tool drive your work but rather use the right tool to address the evaluation so the tools is most important the expertise of the you know researcher is important the involvement 
एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द स्टडीज इफ यू आर कोपिंग अप इफ यू आर मैचिंग अप योर कलेक्शन ऑफ द डेटा एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव देन यू कैन डेफिनेटली फाइंड I am sure the good results of your uh, researches uh, as per the objectives of the study. So uh, in the in the end, you know, uh, 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 with the profound regards to the organizing committee and uh, uh, my friends, uh, Professor Kumarishan and uh, my beloved and uh, uh, you know uh, very uh, patience uh, full you know participants, uh, my 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 great thanks to you. and uh, in the end of this session my sincere gratitude to all participants of this session for listening me very patiently you are very much quite supportive and responsive from the beginning of this session uh, you know uh, thanks now it is open for discussion if any questions then you are most welcome uh, thank you thank you so much uh, professor marishan please thank you thank you so much uh, it is uh, uh, the most uh, known uh, two uh, uh, tools only that is questionnaire and interview methods but so many tools you have explained each and every tool very very loose in manner it is really helpful for you know the resource the able to understand a lot of things grateful grateful to you thank you thank you so much sir uh, brother thank you uh, yes one thing is i just want to share my uh, all the participants especially and those are involved in the social science research uh, i suggest you it is available and i will share you professor kumar san sir the social yes. science research the principles methods and practices one book it is a very very important and authentic book uh, it is written by the anod uh, anol bhattacharji university of south florida this book is available with me i will send you this textbook to you and every part of the social science research and practices and methods and all the principles are over here i will share with you so you share to the benefit of the uh, scholars because you know uh, it is uh, you know uh, but swami vivekananda says the great secret of true success of true happiness then is this the man who ask for no return the perfectly unselfish man is the most successful person we know that I I follow the Vivekananda. That's why I quote it. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Thank you so much, Allah Yar Rasool Vivekananda. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you are very generous and uh, very expertise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. So nice of you. So nice of you, all of you. My, uh, you know, once uh, things are settled down. and uh, and the condition is okay then i want to visit your college and definitely sure. uh, because, yeah. you know that you know that uh, professor kumarsan sir because we are very habitual for 2 hours 3 hours we can stay because <laughs> in iim in central universities and the uh, ugc and the ministry they require minimum 2 hours you know sessions but yes, uh, yes. i don't know i am really apologize to the participants because i i take more time actually you have given only one hour but i will be <laughs> uh, i involved in this and uh, i forgot the time now i see it is uh, 12 uh, 50, 56 it is almost one sir so i am really sorry but i have given my best sir no 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 need for sorry <laughs> it's our uh, uh, lucky uh, so, so it's our luck only because of that uh, the uh, what to say you are always the busiest person uh, in the country one of the uh, greatest and well known uh, reputed economists in the country you are associated with the uh, mhrd you are associated with uh, icssr you are associated with indian economic association ugc and all so many uh, affects bodies uh, you have been associated with uh, 
uh, in spite of that uh, we are very fortunate to have you as a resource person for the past uh, more than 2 hours uh, it's really great sir thank you thank you so much sir so now it's okay thank to you sir <laughs> thank you brother thank you thank you over to uh, moc team Thank you, sir. Your session was fascinating and motivational. Dear participants, if you have any queries, you can ask now. Feedback link is given in the chat box. Dear participants, kindly please fill it up and submit. Dear participants, if you have any queries uh, with the wonderful resource person about <laughs> the tools, uh, you can ask him now. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Hi, yes, sir. Sir, I am Ravi Kumar from Central University of Karnataka. Sir, first of yeah. all, thank you so much for a very wonderful lecture, sir. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Sir, I have a small query, sir. Yeah. That uh, someday before, uh, sir, what is the meaning of the scale, sir, in a questionnaire? Because someday before, sir, when a person asks me that, how many scale you are going to use in, use in your questionnaire, sir? That time I didn't have an idea, sir. Till now I don't have that idea. Can you please explain it, sir? Uh, my dear participants, your voice is cracking actually. If possible, I appeal all the, uh, you know, to the organizing committee. Uh, please pass on the, you know, uh, question to me. Yes. Yeah, please. Sir, actually, uh, uh, Rick. Yeah, Rahimah, sir, could you please please your please post your question in the chat box? Okay, sir. Okay. But but I cannot see the chat box, sir. Here, how? Uh, uh, let me, let me share. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me share with you, or else uh, we will send you the questions. Yeah. I am waiting. I am waiting here. You you send yeah. to me. Uh, yeah. If possible on WhatsApp, then uh, oh. then I can see here. Okay, I am opening <laughs> my. I am opening. Actually, I am I am very you know, a traditional type teacher actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I, yes. Nowadays, uh, first time I am delivering this one on Microsoft Word <laughs> actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, this co Webex uh, actually you know earlier I have conducted one FDP. It was funded mm. by ICT and. Okay. Uh, oh, um, uh, they they were permitted to us only the Cisco Babax actually. Oh, Cisco Babax. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Sir, um, uh, he is asking, what is the meaning of scale in questionnaire? Yes, sir. Meaning of Scale, scale, scales in questionnaire. We are using scales now, like okay, uh, okay. liquid scale okay. and all. So first, we, uh, first what we do, uh, I am taking the questions. You take the questions, uh, Professor Kumarishan, sir. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, first question is, what is uh, the, you know, is scale, okay. So, hmm. I am I'm, I'm giving here, you know, what is the scale? Very good questions. Uh, I, I uh, Pardon, I am not... Uh, uh, you know, able to understand your name actually, I am not a person, but uh, very good questions. I appreciate. See, in common survey, what happens, you know, a scale is in ordered series, right? Ordered series of response options. So, this is, you know, presented verbally or numerically. Uh, you know, uh, when you are collecting some data uh, from the, you know, questions, uh, you know, questionnaire is a scale is there in ordered series, like in verbal manner, like in you know numerical manner. From this, the respond and select to indicate their level of learning about the measured attribute, right? So we when we talk about the scale, it is a composite score of a number of survey questions. Are you getting my yes. points? I think uh, you you are getting yes. uh, what I'm saying here. So, yes, sir, this yes. is a number of survey questions that each measures the same attribute. So, this is this is called, you know, we can say, uh, scaling, right? 
and uh, uh, if, if we take uh, if, if we take one example for your purpose here the likert scale questions right you know yes. uh, give respondents a range of questions like starting at uh, not at all likely scaling all the way up to the extremely or likely for example the survey questions for employees often use different ways to measure their opinions and attitudes on a range of topics so this is a scaling mike i think uh, you, you are getting the answer yes. Yeah. yes yes sir yes sir the next question please yes thank you so much sir yeah you are most welcome my dear your most my friend is in karnataka uh, i think uh, her name uh, in economics also uh, i just so, uh, think her name okay you you are you are students of uh, uh, this subject pushpa sir uh, madam economics or econo phd in economics phd in economics uh, dr pushpa sabadati my friend yes sir she is my guide she is my guide she is my guide sir tanve my regard to her <laughs> सर 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 या या प्लीज वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन 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 आई यस थैंक यू अदर बॉक्स सजेस्ट टूल्स फॉर अननोन पॉपुलेशन ओके what could uh, what uh, data collection tool can you suggest if population is unknown okay oh, yes. then huh. but you want breaking data collection tools for unknown population what do, what uh, uh, data collection tool is suggested okay 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 see first of all we we know the situations when you know uh, uh when the population are unknown right it is you know it is again the just only one minute hello dehu it is uh, i think disconnected can you see computer not connected actually mm-hmm. it is happening i think it is connecting now it is connected now it is happening. okay so the population unknown see uh, when it is happens you know i i tell you suppose you are going to collect your data right you know from the uh, unknown sample size okay then unknown sample size definitely it will be the semi structured manner or unstructured manner right why okay. i am saying uh, why i am saying it, it is semi structured or unstructured because you know uh, the collection process must be my voice is coming because uh, it is showing you know it is uh, moving the rounding actually last two or two and a half hours I think we can discuss. <laughs> no, no, no issues, no issues, professor. We are getting your voice. Sir, 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 your voice is not coming. Your video is stuck down actually. Your voice is not coming. Yeah. Okay. Is it okay, sir? Hello, sir. Sir, your sir, sir, your voice is. I request uh, Professor Kumarisan, sir. Your video uh, is, you know, stop there, sir. So please yeah. uh, stop your video. Uh, stop your video. That's why I stopped my video here. Okay, okay. Why? Yes. Because because stop. video video you know, is taking more uh, data. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Is it okay now? Are you getting? Are you audible? Hello. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Hello. 
Hello. Oh, yes, professor. Yes, professor. Yes, please. Hello. Uh, Am I audible? You are audible. Audible, audible. Uh, I'm. I'm trying to uh, reconnect again. Please uh, give me, give, give me, give me only. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, see, uh, by, uh, uh, when it is uh, you know uh, 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 the question, uh, uh, you know, um, I was I, I was giving coming for the answers to you, but uh, you know uh, answers. The population is unknown. That time the medical research. I hope so. Okay, my voice was not clear that time. because you are uh, you are not audible that time you were not audible now it is clear in the in the case of medical research in the case of statisticals and the sampling size you know the non probability sample if uh, the participant is here uh, we, we we can connect you know we can collect the data a sampling techniques uh, uh, when the population is unknown a non probability sampling i think it is the sampling techniques in the some units of the population have zero chance of selection so, are, are you getting my points or the probability of selection cannot be accurately determined actually so in that conditions the non we can say the non probability sampling uh, we will adapt actually right i hope so uh, you are getting uh, you uh, professor kumar san sir if you are yes, getting my voice i will yes, say uh, i will share that book and you share to all the participants it's free actually sure sir so, sure sir sure, sure. Yeah. okay yeah. okay sir. Thank, yeah. you, sir thank you sir thank you sir yeah yeah sir, you are most welcome sir you are most <laughs> thank you sir <laughs> sir uh, one more one more question yes uh, is it right is it right to select uh, more members from a single family as samples if we go for data collection is it is it Right. Is it right to select more members from a single family? More members from single a single uh, family. Okay. Has samples. Okay. Okay. Right. But it depends on the title or the theme of the research. Actually, why yes. why why I am saying you know suppose I am giving uh, 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 more members from one uh, you know uh, one family. I tell you why it is you know. Suppose you are collecting the household income. Are you getting my points? In the yes. agricultural sectors, I am giving the example here, right? The uh, you can you you are uh, you are you are you are getting well in the agricultural sectors. Only the one man, you know, household how in 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 house people in in one family people only one person is earning people, right? So you are the, collecting the income, you know. uh income uh, factors or we can say the income ratios in the agricultural sectors so we we, we can ask uh, only to the one person one respondent from the one family but it depends on the you know it depends on the title or the theme of the research suppose you, you, you are you are uh, you know asking for uh, you, you you are collecting some data the family planning right what kind of family planning uh, or we can say the family planning the impact of family planning in tamil nadu like that this is this is uh, you know very uh, you know big big manner and very quickly randomly i say i am giving the example here so definitely you will ask to two people husband and wife here and may be possible uh, son and daughter uh, if they are married so so it depends on the you know nature of the research and the nature of the title i hope so it is clear to the yes person. yes absolutely wonderful explanation professor thank you yeah yeah yes, yes. so nice of you sir sir uh, uh, i think uh, no more questions are there yeah uh, shall we go on uh, uh, to the next uh, um, uh, event hmm? mc team yeah miss yes, mai uh, are you present yes, a good event never ends in the world they take only a pause and keep us waiting for the next i would invite dr s chandra ma'am assistant professor of bcom ca department to propose the vote of thanks thank you mangai good afternoon to everyone gratitude always to the power of faith 
wisdom and creativity i feel honored and proud to have the opportunity to present a vote of thanks on this special day i would like to express my gratitude to today's resource person dr tiris kulshrestha for his wonderful speech regarding steps in data analysis process through selecting data collection method and sources today's speech deep insights into the topic and also reveal some interesting informations about rules for collecting data and its different approaches like structured approach semi structured approach quantitative data approach and qualitative data approach sir also explain various types of data collection tools like participatory tool records and secondary data observation surveys and interviews focus groups diaries and self reported checklists expert judgment and delphi techniques thank you so much for your valuable information sir thank you so much sir yeah yeah thank you to <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to the organizing team and a special thanks to professor kumareshan because <laughs> he has he has created a wonderful environment because we thank need you. to the academic discourse yeah <laughs> thank you so nice of you my thank best wishes you. for the mega success of this fdp sir thank you thank you professor thank you yeah thank you thank you so thank much you. have a nice day I am happy to convey my sincere thanks to our honorable founder and chairman, Lion K S Rangaswamy M J F Sir, Vice Chairman Mr. Rao Srinivasan Sir, and Executive Director Mrs. Kavita Srinivasan Ma'am for always motivate us to organize many wonderful programs. I express my wholehearted thanks to our below principal, Dr. M Kartika N Sir, K S R Women's College, for his enthusiastic support and encouragement. to conduct such a wonderful faculty development program a special thanks to our director and professor dr d kumareshan sir for guide and cheer up us to organize this successful faculty development program thank you sir thank you i'd like to thank our head of the department mr wo kumareshan sir for his kindness and friendly approach to organize this fabulous faculty development program thank you sir I extend my gratitude to our department faculty members and volunteer teams for their excellent teamwork and support for the success of today's session. Thank you, friends. I extend my sincere thanks to all the participants from various reputed colleges and universities for their valuable presence. As your participation has made this event as a successful event, and I believe that. this program helped to your career and your development once again i thank you to everyone thank you thank you so much thank you thank you so much uh, and uh, congratulations i must congratulate to you and uh, really i am very grateful and i am very happy uh, to share uh, some my views on research because in this situation at the time of lockdown situation professor marisa 